Guys, I was going to call the Indians, but obviously I can't find their contacts on this project here. So I'm going to call first Solar Media. And I don't even know if it's in America. Let's see if I can find one. All right, let's just try this. I'm dialing 702-222-2362. Thank you for calling Purdue Marion and Associates. If you've reached this message during business hours and know the extension of the party you wish to reach, please dial it now. Or you may press the pound key for our company directory. To leave a message in the general mailbox, please press star. Um, I have nobody who to contact, so let's uh, try something else. All right, we're going to go to this next one. And this is First Solar Investors. I'm going to find out how I invest. And that phone number was 602-414-9315. We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed, or the number has been disconnected. This seems to happen to me every time. I'm going to try another number. 602-414-9315. It's the same one. Maybe I punched the wrong number. <clears throat> Thank you for contacting for Solace Investor Relations Department. Please listen to this message in its entirety. For information regarding the company, the products and services we offer, please visit our website at www.firstsolar.com. For specific information regarding financial related news and announcements, including our historical and upcoming earnings announcements, visit the investor relations section at www.firstsolar.com. For all other inquiries, including sales inquiries, Please forward a detailed email to info at firstsolar.com. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press pound for more options. Okay, I'm going to do this one more time. I want to talk to this guy who's... Um, two, two, two. Uh, let's go back. Sorry, guys. I'm uh, just trying to get this... Because this is bullshit. I can't talk to a representative. And you can't talk to the company they're invested in. 2830813. And look, it's after 8 o'clock here Pacific Standard Time. Is this First Solar Media? Um, I work with First Solar. Who is this? Uh, my name is Linda Little Bear, and I wanted to ask you a few questions. Okay. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. Who um, are you with? Um, I, I'm with myself. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm very curious, and this is being recorded uh, because some people are concerned, and I said I would call and find out. All right, um, is this going to be done in Clark County, Nevada, some of these solar uh, panels and through Nevada and the BLM land? Um, 
You know, given that you're recording this, I probably should have an official spokesperson for the um, for the company talk with you about this. Well, how can I go about doing that? I can't even contact like Harry Reid. It's taken me two days, and all I get is put well, off. I mean, I mean for, for, first of all, um, I mean, it, I, I mean, I guess you can record it if you want to. The the project that First Solar is working on is um, in coordination with the Malapa Paiute uh, Band of Indians. Right, I'm indigenous. And and it is not on BLM land. It, that project is uh, is on uh, tribal land. Okay, but that's still the Department of Interior. Well, it is. You know, the, the Bureau of Indian Affairs is involved with that. Okay, which uh, is ran by the. But it is not. It is not BLM land. Okay. Um, most, uh, I am a Native American. My name is Linda Little Bear, and most land that Indians are put on is ran by, uh, you say, the BIA, the Bureau of Indian Affairs, which is under the Department of Interior, which um, goes in and mines and so forth. And they, but, they. But this is, but this is not. This land is not um, uh, managed by the Bureau of Land Management. It is land that belongs to the Moapa tribe and is held in trust for the Moapa tribe. Okay, it is held in trust. And you did deal with the council members, right? Yes. What about the rest of the, the uh, indigenous people? Did they come and listen to your proposal? Well, again, for, for those kinds of questions, I would probably need to refer you to the official spokesperson Okay, I would like to know how do I go about getting in touch with that person. I, the only reason I'm saying that is because, like I said, I am indigenous, and um, usually tribal councils are set up by our federal government, and the real tribal councils, we call those corporate engines because they let people in. I'm going to give you the lingo here. Um, for, for like uranium mines, when the people don't want uranium mines by themselves, you know, by their houses and stuff. Um, the the federal government, John McCain's the worst, will set up his own tribal council and the heck with the one that the, uh, you know, the original people set up. And so what, what, that's the reason I'm asking that. And if you could lead me in that direction, I would appreciate it. So far, you have been the most open and honest person I've talked to. Well, Linda, let me have your phone number. Okay, it's 360-86... Eight six one, eight five three one. And where are you located? I'm in Washington State, but that's not where I'm originally from. Okay. And if I can ask, what is your interest in this? Well, my interest is a lot of people are are being told they can't herd and. Uh, stuff on the BLM, BLM land, and I was actually going out there this summer to that area um, to to do some things, and I don't want to be hassled now because corporations, and I'm not saying your corporation, but corporations seem to be springing up all over saying that it is not the people's land, that it belongs to the federal government, and um, if you read the BLM's statement, it does say it is the people's land, they're just managing it. Um, so I'm, they kind of hung themselves. Tribal, tribal, tribal lands are different than public lands. Exactly, and, and, and I can walk on any tribal land I want to, but I want to go with some friends of, uh, white friends, uh, on BLM lands and camp this year. And right now, I'm going to find it hard to do that because corporations are coming in there and setting up stuff. Okay, well, I don't know which lands you're talking about. But Clark County, anyway, Nevada. Um, I will uh, get back to you, and but you know, again, the project that you're talking about um, has, I mean, and especially, I think that you're probably talking about this issue with uh, the rancher outside of Mesquite. Absolutely, Those lands are entirely separate from the Moapa Paiute tribal lands, and and it is a totally different issue. Okay. So, 
you know, if, if you're thinking about that, you know, that, I mean, you, you can't camp on tribal lands without tribal permission. Absolutely, I understand that, but be, but and be, so, and so, but again, so the issue that you're talking about dealing with, you know, the incident regarding the cattle and the BLM is is an I, entirely unrelated issue to what you guys are doing. Um, yes. Okay, and that that it's not even it's not even the same land, and it's not even in, in close proximity. Okay, and, and and that's good to know, so no one will go after and attack you guys. Um, it's just Harry Reid has been very deceptive on a lot of things, and he won't talk. Well, I, I, I'm not going to get into the politics. Right, and I don't blame you. you. Um, no, I, I can. I, I'll answer your questions regarding the solar project, but it, it is. Um, miles away. Now I looked at some of the pictures on your website. Is it going to be a land coverage of solar panels? Is uh, it, yes. Well, would you know? Isn't that going to hurt some of the tribal lands there for because they're very conservative? This 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 is being done in partnership with the tribe. Oh, well, wow. I'm going to, I have some friends there. I'm going to have to call and speak to them, too. They're not in the council. Yeah, I mean, you, you can definitely, you can definitely talk with them, but I can tell you when we did the groundbreaking ceremony, we had the chairman of the Paiute Council and all of the Paiute Council members and probably 50 members of the tribe or more who attended the groundbreaking. They were probably family of the council members. Um. <laughs> no, you know, you can speculate all you want. This is this is a project that is done in complete cooperation and coordination with the Malapa Band of Paiutes. Okay, I'm just telling you, I know how um, the uh, council works with Indians, having uh, lived on a res for a long, long time. Um, and and like I said, there's it's it's a jumbled mess there with what the real people say and the other ones. We call them corporate engines, and I'm. Well, I, that's that's, ma'am. That's not the case here. Well, I'll call and find out for myself. But if you would, you can definitely do that. Okay, if you would have someone call me back, I'd appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Well, he hung himself. <laughs>